Now it's over to Chef Mark, who's full of great life hacks, and you're making classic Italian pasta in the Beko kitchen today. Are we going to make our own? That, um, we could, but we're not. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right, what have we got? Right, so we're going to do a classic Italian dish, the carbonara. Good. Right, and you can see here, it's very simple. There's not many ingredients here, but they all count. We've got beautiful pancetta. Yep. Gives us a great flavor. We've got the pasta. You know, you could make it, or yep. we just buy it. <laughs> it's like Mike does. We've got lots of butter, cheese, and garlic. Oh, cheese, butter, and garlic. Now, that is a recipe made in heaven. And here's the sauce, the eggs. <gasps> oh, yeah. like And you'll that. note there's no wine in there, there's no cream in there, there's no mushrooms in there. No, this is the classic, easy, fast, recipe. There's no wine in there because I like to leave the wine in the glass when I'm enjoying my carbonara. <laughs> We're back in the Beko kitchen to cook up a favourite Italian pasta dish. This is probably second only to spag bowl, Mark. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> right, I'm going to show you how easy this is. What we're going to do is we've got some boiling salted water. Yep. Get your pasta, pop your pasta in. Quick question, some people put oil in there. Is that just a complete myth? Uh, no, you can do that to stop it sticking, but if yeah. you're going to work really fast, which we are, we don't need to do that. Cool. So pasta's going in there. Yeah, so pop it in and then you can you can just sort of like slightly put a bit of pressure in, get it get it down there. With that and cooking that, is there what's the rule of thumb? Because we do want kind of that al dente thing, I'm guessing. Yeah. And yeah. for us who haven't had all the chef training that you say that you've had, um, you, how do we know? Um, just read the back of the uh, packet. <laughs> <laughs> Love no, it. About, about, about 10 to 12 minutes depending on the uh, on the brand and the pasta. Great. But once it once it's boiling and once it's sort of gone a bit limp, you can take a little bit out and then you can just bite through it. If you if you look in the middle, if it's all white, um, then it's not cooked. It needs a little yep. bit longer. But if it's all cooked through and you get that nice little crunch uh, when you bite through it, that's the al dente. So then you can do that. Nice. Okay. What is next? Right. So next we're going to start making our sauce. So um, a little bit of butter. Your favourite ingredient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's not many ingredients in here, so we, um, you know, we're going to use a good amount of them. Right, I've got some garlic, so I've got three cloves now, so I'm just going to smash them. Yep. Um, just to make it a bit easy, you can just um, take the peel off, but I'm going to leave it in big chunks. And Why? I'm pop that into the uh, butter, because we're going to flavour it. So essentially we're making okay. like a garlic butter, so this is going to be like the base garlic of the uh, and sauce. butter, again, yeah. a match made in heaven. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do I need to do any stirring? Can uh, I make you, myself you, useful? You, yeah, yeah you, can, uh, you can stir away. Just keep it on a nice medium heat. You can yep. see the butter's uh, bubbling and melting, that's great. We don't want to get it brown, we don't want to burn it, we don't want to get any colour on that garlic. We want to extract all those sweet oh. um, garlic flavours. And again, and you can smell it now, can't I you? Can, I certainly can, hello. Oh, I love this. Right, and now we've got some pancetta. So it's already sliced really nice and thin. Um, so I'm just going to go across and just do it into some, some nice strips or you can dice it. You know, if you've got a nice big piece, um, you know, you can do it into nice little chunks or big and chunks, anything you want. What if you, we, we, you know, didn't have any of that on hand or anything? Are there alternatives or you've kind of got to go with the pancetta? No, no, I mean, you can, you, you can use bacon as well. If you've got bacon at home, you can do yeah. some bacon, smoked bacon. Um, it just takes it to the ne next level. You know, you, you sort of, you cured hams. Yeah. Um, just gives you that really, really sort of deep uh, richness of flavour. So that's all ready to go. Great. And you know, you can see it's just bubbling away, you've got that nice smell in there, and now we're going to cook the pancetta in the butter. Okay, so same, keep it on a nice medium heat, and we're just going to keep cooking it around and starting to get that like a little bit crispy. Yep. And How then, long will that generally take? Oh, probably about three, three to four minutes. Yep. You know, just keep an eye on it. You know, don't take too long. Um, you know, don't don't walk away and uh, and leave it on too long. And can we be doing this while the pasta's doing it? Yeah. like we are here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So th this is how fast it is, and this is this is what all uh, Italian cookery is about. It's really simple, Yum. using the best ingredients. And you know, we're cooking the pasta, so we're using the time between the pasta's cooking to make the sauce, and then it just goes straight in, and then you, and then it's straight in your belly. It is straight in my belly. You wait, I have to fight Mel for this one, but I uh, might end up running out of the studio. Oh, this is smelling so good. And it's it's just all about keeping it really, really simple. And then we've got two cheeses here. Great. So we've got a parmesan and a pecorino. You know, very, very similar. You know, you can just give it a nice um, sort of, you know, different contrast to the uh, the sauce at the end with the two cheeses, or you could just use one cheese if you wanted. You know, it's entirely up to you, whatever you've got. Wonderful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start grating that. You do that, and we'll look forward to seeing how this all comes together a little bit later on in this carbonara. What is next? Right, so look at the pancetta there. It's nice oh. and crispy. You know, that, that butter is really sort of full of, full of the garlic flavor now. So take a little bit of pasta. Yep. 
put it in, bite it, just check for any white pots in there. I've still got a little bit of a crunch, so that is perfect. Right. This garlic, is that still doing its thing or is it yeah, ready? So we, we, what we're going to do now is going to remove the garlic. That's why we left it whole. <laughs> cool. I'm going to drain off the pasta. So always a good idea, drain the pasta off, but drain it into a bowl, keep the uh, water, and then we're going to make a sauce now quickly. Great. So a couple of eggs into a bowl, give them a good whisk around. And I've got one yolk as well, just to give it some extra richness. Okay, that goes in there. Make sure you whisk all that together. So I'm curious about this, because uh, is there a point where we add the egg to the, the warm? Yeah, we're going to add everything together now. So I'm going to put lots and lots of fresh cracked black pepper in there. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to go easy with the um, salt at the minute. I'm going to put the pasta in there, toss that around so it's all coated. I'm going to put all the cheese in here. I love how glossy that goes straight away. And then off the heat, we're just going to add all that into the pan. Oh, you hello keep, cheese. It's been a while. Stirring. And what you want to do, reserved cooking um, liquid. Pop that in there. Why do we do that? And you just loosen it down, so you're making that ah. sauce. So the cheese just <gasps> melts into that sauce, keeps stirring it, coats it all. Beautiful, and then we'll just tip it out onto our bowl. That is ready to eat, you know, you don't need to cook it too much. Oh, that absolute can I get you to finish stirring that because honestly, what we're loving today too is that we're popping in these bowls. It is the Mud Australia range from the porcelainlounge.co.nz. What I love is I've been one of those people that's gone white on white on white for so many years, and now these range, there's 20 different colours, and the beautiful thing is. The colour is not in the glaze, it's in the actual clay itself. But they've done another really cool thing too, which means we can take these from oven to dishwasher to microwave because they're put in a kiln at a really, really hot heat. The outside is not glazed, which make, makes it like stone. It makes it that hard, which means it is hardy for all those uses. So if you're popping this in there and you needed to keep it warm in the oven or whatever, you absolutely could do that. So from theporcelainlounge.co.nz, thank you so much. And it just makes the food look just that much more beautiful. And as you've said before, Mark, it's all in the presentation, which we totally love. Look at that. Hello, cheese. Bit of more, <laughs> bit more cheese on there. Pop it into a bowl, centre of the table. Everyone digs in, but you've got to eat this straight away, otherwise it will set because you've got all those eggs in there. Well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Cannot wait to taste this before the end of the show. Now it is carbonara time. Mark? Mark. Look at that. It's turned out absolutely Ooh. amazing. I don't know what you guys are going to do because that's just one. No, 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 bring it on <laughs> over. This does look really, really good. All right, what is on the menu tomorrow? All right, tomorrow I've got honey, lime, and um, sriracha chicken.